Well, good evening to you and uh, welcome on this most perfect evening for a game of football. Conditions are absolutely splendid and the folk of this town have come out in their droves for this match. Why wouldn't they? It is an ideal circumstance for what could be an ideal game. Everybody has been attracted to it. It has been the talk of the town and uh, the buses have been packed. Double-decker buses lining up outside. Coaches have carried thousands of away supporters here too and uh, all of it adds up to make a terrific, a crackling atmosphere. The match, I think, will be quite a spectacle. It is a venue, this, which simply adds to the spectacle of the game it stages. One of the most impressive arenas in this part of the world. Well, there are plenty looking forward to seeing this, a capacity crowd here. Well, under normal circumstances, this is a massive matchup, and I'm not totally in agreement with the view that friendlies tend to take the edge away. In my experience, if the opposition go at it full tilt, then you have to reciprocate. We'd like to see excitement and be entertained, but if it does go down the serious route, there'll still be lots to enjoy. got things on the way. Jim, who do you reckon is pivotal? Yeah, Raheem Sterling. He could be the key man for me, Peter, because he's so quick and direct with the ball at his feet. And that low centre of gravity also makes it hard to knock him off the ball. You know, he can turn very quickly. He's... It's Lukaku! Oh, that's quite incredible! And if that's a sign of things to come, he could make himself unplayable here. On some occasions, when star players really mean business, the entertainment value rockets, and we could be in for a treat after such a stunning opening. What a clean hit. No one gets in the way of that. That is just the top draw finish. He was always in control and couldn't have placed it any better. Manchester City didn't expect this, that's for sure. What can they do now? Zinchenko, Ruben Diaz, Fernandinho, Jorginho brings the ball forward. Lukaku. Zinchenko. Oh, he's not played the ball, that's a foul. It's not taken him long, and that's going to be a booking. Walker, Sterling, Harvats, set up one goal so far, going through, well it seems as if he's just had a momentary lapse and, and slipped into tunnel vision because he had good options around him and he failed to get his head up, that's a throw, Oh, good steal, he just read it. Ruben Diaz. There has been just the early goal here, and it's 1-0. Good challenge, he just stood firm. The referee's awarded a free kick. There could be trouble here. And for now, the referee is keeping his cards in his pocket. Yeah, and he's dodged a big one there. He has to be squeaky clean from here. Foden. 
Finds himself eased off the ball. Well, the defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. It's on a plate. Oh, shooting chance! Oh, good effort. He got plenty on that. Ah, that's a great effort. There was very little backlift to indicate what was coming. Foden. Manchester City have made some interesting moves in getting their fullbacks to tuck in. Yeah, bright approach, isn't it? Yeah, so many fullbacks now just want to get forward, Peter. Well, he certainly caught him there, it's a free kick. Well, you might think he got off lightly, it is just a verbal warning. And that is not finding anyone. Marcos Alonso. And here's Lukaku. Just brushed off the ball there. He wasn't very far from making something happen by himself. Lovely to see. And this is Alonso. Alonso. Keeps everyone guessing. Chance to shoot! Conte. Chance! He's pulled off a fine save. Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra sharp. Foden. Jorginho. Yeah, he's pulled him up for that challenge. And he is going into that little black book. put a stop to that Pulisic Pulisic oh great save real class well that was high class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high class wage And this could be the final action of the first half. Towering header! Well, he should have done better, and he knows it. Good effort, very good effort. He would have at least wanted to make the keeper work, though. Ball, but not especially accurate. And we've reached half time. And there we are, off they go for half time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. What have we learned from the first 45 minutes? Well, I think the scoreline offers a fair reflection of the level of endeavour from both teams. I think they lead because they did most of the probing. A little more penetration, I think, should help them get the job done. Chelsea come off having scored the only goal of the game so far. It's been tight, it's been exciting. And there is it's Lukaku! It's there! And with that goal, 
comes comfort. Chelsea are really pouncing on any stray passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. His second of the game, and an eye now for the hat-trick. Manchester City are making a change now. So that's two now without reply. That second goal has such a, a polarising effect on prospective moods. I mean, one team are under more pressure now to get the next goal and the other will fancy their chances of turning two into three. As Plequeta did well to emerge with the ball, that's a contest to keep an eye on. Marcos Alonso plays it out to the wing. He's got away. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Well, the crowd clearly liked what they just saw. Some real no-nonsense defending. And here's Sterling. De Bruyne, ball's loose, who's getting there? Marcos Alonso. Manchester City are keeping their men at arm's length here. Yeah, I just think it's a conservative move to deny runners the opportunity of, of going beyond that rear guard. And back to base. Mondi sends that a long way. Caught offside that time. Raspilicueta and he's going long Ederson will lay claim to that and it's Bernardo Silva and here's Gabriel yeah that does look a foul referee's given a free kick Just the talking to, I think. Yes, it is. Well, he's asking for trouble, Peter. Uh, with this urge to, to nibble away, I think the ref is spelling it out for him now. <laughs> oh, he's brought him down, and it is a penalty. Chelsea present their opponents with the best possible chance here. Well, the players are pleading, but it's not going to convince him to change his mind now. Well, it was deliberate, it was cynical, and you have to understand the frustration of, of being denied a clear opportunity, but it had to be done. And that's one back! A time for a cool head, and that is precisely what he showed. Well, that looked a simple case of giving the keeper the eyes and just slipping the ball to the other side. That was clever. <laughs> we have got ourselves a game here. I think they can sense a comeback here, and so can this crowd. It's all systems go now. Walker. Oh, the ball's come loose, and the chase is on. Well, it's good stuff. This is better. Well, hit and hope is just about the sum of it, isn't it, Jim? Spot on, Peter. Bernardo Silva. Hoists it forward. And here's Sterling. He gets past his man. And it's De Bruyne. Gets the better of his man.
Manchester City are definitely not going down without a scrap. Their attitude just can't be faulted. Well, he's worked so hard for his side, uh, as you would expect, but you couldn't help notice that he was starting to, to labour a bit, so it's no surprise. Jorginho. It's a loose ball. Thiago Silva. Conte. Marcos Alonso. Pulisic. Lovely bit of skill there. Pulisic! Chelsea need to hold on for a few more moments. Yeah, it's safe to say that they just need to manage this to secure the win now. Lukaku tries to get it forward quickly. A really good feat. A chance to play it in. It's come loose. Gabriel Jesus. And that is that. Chelsea win it by the odd goal. Almost nothing in it. Perhaps a draw would have felt fairer. But that's the game, and they have won it at the margin. So, Jim, how do you reflect on what we've seen? Yeah, they had a game plan which was about hammering away.